All right, so here we want to do a problem from section 8.4 where we're going to do a hypothesis test on uh, standard deviation. So take a look at the question. It says workers at a uh, certain soda drink factory collected data on the volumes in ounces of a simple random sample of 18 cans of the soda drink. The volumes have a mean of 12.19 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.12 ounces. So we have that the sample mean is 12.19 ounces with a sample standard deviation of 0.12 ounces. And they appear to be from a normally distributed population. The workers want the filling process to work so that almost all cans have volumes between 11.91 and 12.55 ounces. It says the range rule of thumb can be used to estimate that the standard deviation should be less than 0.16 ounces. So we should talk about that. The range rule of thumb says basically that if you take the range and divide by four for a data set, this should be approximately equal to the standard deviation. So if you take 12.55 and subtract from it 11.91, and divide through by four, um, then you have um, 0.16, right? So uh, that's where they're getting the 0.16 uh, right here, that the standard deviation should be less than that. Okay, we're to use, we're to test the claim and we're gonna use an alpha of 0.01. And the first task is to figure out the hypothesis. So. Uh, our null hypothesis is the one that has the equality in it. Our alternative here is going to be our claim, and we want to know less than. So the one that meets those requirements looks like the first one, A. The null hypothesis has equality equal to 0.16, and the alternative is less than 0.16. Okay, so then let's that takes care of that. Let's go on to our next part. In the next part, we're to compute the test statistic. So we need uh, the value for chi squared. And the formula for the test statistic is n minus 1 s squared divided by sigma squared. And so in this problem, the simple random sample was 18 cans of the soda drink. So our n is 18. So we'll have, I'm going to put 18 minus 1, just so everybody knows where I got it. Uh, S, the sample standard deviation was 0.12. So we'll have 0.12 squared. And then down below the sigma, that's the hypothesized one. And from the uh, alternative hypothesis, the uh, sigma is 0.16. So we'll have 0.16 squared. So let's go ahead and calculate that. All right, so putting that through the calculator, you, you get 9.5625. Notice in the directions, we're asked to report that to three decimal places. So I'll be putting in 9.563. Okay, and then let's go on to the next part. All right, so then for the next part, we want to find the p-value. So for the p-value, if you're going to be using um, my math lab for your work as you are here, uh, you pretty much always want to use StatCrunch for this. If you're going to be using tables, then the best you'll be able to do is come up with an estimate for the p-value. And of course, my math lab will complain if you just estimate. So I'm going to show you how to use StatCrunch to get this p-value. So we'll see that happen next. All right, so here we are in uh, my lab and I've started up StatCrunch. Um, I'm not gonna be using a data set from the textbook, so I'm not gonna click that link. Instead, it says visit the StatCrunch website, so let me do that. And then once that starts, um, right in the middle, open StatCrunch. And then uh, up top here, uh, take a look at what we want to see. What we're doing is involving standard deviation, which is um, the square root of variance, right? Or we said the other way around, the variance is 
standard deviation squared. So you want to look in here for uh, variance. Um, sometimes people get tripped up by this because there isn't a choice for standard deviation. Remember that standard deviation and variance are really closely related. So you're under variance. Uh, we're still here in chapter eight, so we're going to be doing one sample. Chapter nine will involve two samples, but right now we're in one sample. We don't have the raw data in this problem. Instead, we have summary data like the mean and standard deviation and sample size. So variance stats, one sample with summary. And then the sample variance was, what was the sample variance? 0.12 ounces. So we'll put that in there. And then the sample size was 18. Remember that here they're asking for the sample size. So don't put in the minus one one. So the whole sample size was 18. We could do a confidence level if a confidence interval if you want, but we're actually here to do a hypothesis test. So one thing that you have to be really careful of is that again, we are doing this for variance. And so you see it says here sigma squared. And so our, our null hypothesis was that the uh, standard deviation would equal 0.16. And if you take 0.16 times 0.16, you get 0.0256. So in here, you want equal to 0.0256. And then the alternative is uh, that it is less. And again, why not 0.16? Because uh, StatCrunch has built into it the test for variance, not standard deviation. And that 0.0256 is the 0.16 squared. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And so then let's go ahead and click on compute for that. And then it looks like our p value is 0 0.0328. Okay. All right, so it turns out that that p-value is incorrect. So I want to go to show you how to go back in and change what you've put in. You don't have to go all the way back to here where it says stat and all the calculations and things. Instead, uh, up here where it says options, click on options and then edit. And that will take you straight back to the things that you typed in. And you can see that here under sample variance where I should have had 0.12, Instead, I have 0 0.012, and of course that changes everything. So uh, let me fix that. 0.12 is our correct sample variance, and then everything else is the same. The port 0 0.16 squared is still 0.0256, and so that will change that. So now uh, here it's showing a p-value of one, so uh, that uh, is interesting. All right, so let's see how that works. All right, so once again, I need to be careful in here for the sample variance. I should have had the sample variance, but I typed in the sample standard deviation. So uh, we should have 0 0.12 squared. 0 0.12 squared is 0 0.0144. Okay, so let's try that. I got that p-value of one before, which seemed high to me, and so that struck me as really odd. Now we're getting a p-value of 0 0.0791, and that sounds more like all right, so we're finished with the hard part. So what we need to do next is uh, state our conclusion. We need to decide whether to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So once again, looking back to the beginning of the problem, we saw that the alpha was 0 0.01. So that is our level of significance. Alpha is 0 0.01. Our probability value or p-value is 0 0.0791. So the P is greater than the alpha here. And so based on that, we're going to fail to reject uh, the null hypothesis because the P value is uh, greater than the level of significance. And so there's not enough evidence to conclude that the uh, population of standard deviations uh, population standard deviation of canned volumes is less than 0.16, so insufficient evidence. So the, the takeaway here is basically that uh, the, the claim was that the standard deviation was less than 0.16. 
And uh, the sample we got had a standard deviation of 0.12, which is less than 0.16. And so the question is, okay, well, does that mean are, uh, is that convincing to us that the population standard deviation is less than 0.16? And, and the answer that we got according to our procedure is that with a level of significance of 0.01, uh, no, basically we can uh, kind of attribute the difference that we got as being due to chance. Okay, so I, I hope that the uh, homework question here helps you. And if you have any questions on it, uh, let me know and have a great day.